I'm here in one of my favorite places in Sedona. Lana and I are spending 12 days here in Arizona. Kind of a respite, you know, going to a warmer place. And uh, this is a Buddhist stupa. We found it a number of years ago when we came here. And it turned out that it had been established by a Lama who was from Poolsville, Maryland, who we know, Jetsama. It's a beautiful place and it's a sacred place and we've always loved coming here. I'm also making this because you can see that I'm not wearing a turban and I'm increasingly not wearing a turban. I've been teaching, I've been wearing a turban when I've been teaching, but other than that, I haven't been and pretty soon you'll see me teaching some classes not wearing a turban. I've worn a turban for 45 years and I feel like mm, it's gotten to be more of a habit than something that really means something to me. I don't feel like I need to establish a commitment to a faith by the way I dress. I feel like I'm just as much a Sikh as I always have been and I'm proud of that path and what I've learned from that path. But I also don't feel that I need now to dress in a way that identifies me as a member of that path. So you'll gradually see me um, more and more in different situations without a turban. Here we are 12 days in Arizona. I didn't bring a turban with me. So I just wanted to let you all know this is the age of people becoming who they are, and this is just me. It wasn't something I deliberated about. It's just something that one morning I just knew. That's, it's time. It's time for me to be able to, you know, like, yes, there's going to be a period of discomfort as people learn about it or whatever as I go through the change, but... It's, that's part of what it is to be who you are. So that's part of what's happening with me these days. I just wanted to let you all know that. God bless you all. Thank you.